Oh my God. Black Magic responds with the Pixies monitor. Wow. Look at this. Look. Come look at this. Come, 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 come look at this. <laughs> this is lovely, man. Guys, this is just good. Listen, I never even had any problem with the original box camera. I already knew, man, I'm going to be using my uh, Blackmagic monitor on that. And I'll be fine. Ain't no need to worry about that. It's a plus that uh, that that screen was there for me. Um, when you're shooting on location, it's just a normal pos position uh, to uh, tap uh, stuff. You know, most of the time we turn our camera our monitor sideways. You know, because we're always standing to the side of the camera. So that that. Uh, Positioning on the screen was just all right. It means now that uh, we'll have one on the side, and with the new addition of this monitor, another will now be um, on the rig. I actually thought it would, this thing was going to be expensive, you know, but when I saw the price, I was like, ah, I'm getting it. Now that makes sense. It just makes the camera even more what it like. Yeah, I got to get it now. <laughs> I mean, I was going to get it, or rather I was deciding to. The Pixies is going to end up in the big camera to the other scene when I get it. This is a plus. Lovely that it comes with the functional buttons. Oh my God, the remote control, like, like, like a camera control, right? The monitor is not just a monitor. You see... For those of you who, who have issues with HDMI not being there, you just got it solved. Like, you don't need to connect SDI to any monitor no more. Well, you can if you have the, also, uh, if you have the focus assist. You still might want, you might for some reason, maybe to, to get progress um, onto an SD card. You might want to get your... Black Magic Focus Assist on connected via SDI, but it is just so cool to have this one right here and um, get to see your screen and monitor and you know see all your settings and um, exposure settings and all that. It's it's lovely. I've been missing Bluetooth on my Black Magic because this uh, Studio 6K doesn't have Bluetooth. That's been a bummer for me. So I'm glad to have my Bluetooth back and um, basically still have all that control over the ATM and online connectivity is all there. Man, this thing is $2.95. Just the monitor screen alone. I know the price for the other, for the full set, uh, it's a little bit high. Like, you know, um, I see why he took his time to explain it. I think he expects it. Um, but I, these are people we've been working with. I don't think they are trying to rip us off. Uh, they could have put the, the actual price on the monitor. So um, they could have said the monitor is uh, 400 and then add two more hundred or 150 more for the parts. Uh, making it uh, at the same price, ending up at the same price. Monitor 400, we, would, we wouldn't have complained. Monitor alone 400, we wouldn't have complained. You know, um, it would still look like we're worth getting. I think you, you, you could just get the um, the monitor alone. You can go ahead and get the monitor alone. They are passed for that. There ain't no need to complain. Good thing that what's more important, you got it cheap. So stick with that and, you know, be happy. But one thing I know from what I see, if you get that set, you'll be all right. You'll be good. You'll, you'll be glad you did. Um, but however, if Blackmagic can reduce the price, I won't, I won't complain. 
But if it's stock, if it's really expensive, it was expensive to create, and really the margin is not that much, they can't lose money for us. They have been slashing prices for us. I'm not going to fight with them over um, 150 more. It's got the same 1,500 nits as the Pocket 6K Pro that I really enjoyed uh, when I had it. I mean, that worked flawlessly for me. I never had any outdoor daylight issue where that monitor wasn't bright enough. But the, the added advantage is the sun hood that came with this one. Now, there's no, there's no outdoor brightness or sunlight that will be really defeat this thing with that hood. I don't see that happening, so that's a that's a really good one. I'm happy for that, and I like the fact that the the monitor can 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 be turned around. You can make the the mount do a 360. I think I'm gonna go with the 400 and uh, 40 or 400 and you know um, 60 version, where yeah, where I got the mount. The accessories, yeah, I like that. Ah, my God, camera control. You won't have to touch the box much. And when you are hanging it up on, on a stick or on some kind of rig or mounted in the car, yeah, you could control from a distance. You could just... Uh, so now, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. I can see me using it for my um, car shoot. Yeah, it's October next month. That's when I think this camera will shoot because that's what it says on Amazon. Um, buy now, um, order now, and shipping will start in October. You'll get it between uh, the first two, three weeks of October. Uh, I might show it on the screen uh, just in case I'm, I'm saying it wrong. I was um, trying to wait for it for my short film. To have it tested on my short film, um, but uh, I don't think I want to wait that long to shoot my short film. So I might be getting the the uh, full frame cinema camera, or maybe not. Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll shoot with um, the Sony cameras along with this uh, with the Studio 6K. I have to combine both of them to get what I want because uh, one is not, uh, can't do everything I need. So, um, yeah, I've been making them work look alike. Uh, I've been matching both cameras on the YouTube channel. So I guess we could manage it for a short film, manage the combo uh, while I wait for Blackmagic to come for comfort with the Pixies. Um, yeah. Watch out for my next for my new video where you know I got a series going on for car mount for a scene of my short film um, where I'm trying out uh, where I mounted the studio camera the two studio 6K on a car on my uh, car mount and uh, yeah they should, you know watch out for that um, I got a camera that I could that could handle the studio 6K. Uh, and I was and I powered it on the go. Okay, um, I'll show you how I did that. All right, so don't forget to subscribe so you could see more and join me on that uh, series where where I prepare for my short film and uh, show you what I'm I mean gears and every stuff I'm preparing for. It's like the prep process for the short film. I'm sure you'll learn one or two things. So don't so. Um, Get on board and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.